In this video, I'm going to show you how to write and run tests using Dart. We'll start by using the Dart tool to create a new project and we'll use the package simple template. I'll call this project test demo. When we create a new project, Dart will go ahead and fetch all of the dependencies that our project needs. Since we chose the package simple template, it pulls the test dependency and the pedantic dependency. Great, all of our dependencies have been fetched. Let's take a look at this project. We'll cd into it, and I'll fire up Vim. We can see from the folder structure here that things are fairly light, and if we open up lib slash source slash test demo base, we can see some of the pre-generated code that Dart built for us. Let's go ahead and modify this class and add a greatest common divisor function to it. We'll specify that it's supposed to return an int, and it takes two parameters, x and y, which are both going to be ints as well. We should be able to solve this with a little recursion, but don't worry too much about the implementation. What's important is that we have a way to test it. Great, now that we have an implementation, let's take a look at the test file that Dart generated for us when we created this package. You can see that there's actually quite a bit going on here. We have a main function. We have a group, which groups tests together. We have a setup function, which allows you to run some code before tests are ran. Um, and we have a test. Uh, the one that's generated for us is called first test and maybe isn't super helpful. So let's add a new group and we will add a test of our own to test our greatest common divisor function. A quick tip, I like to use groups for method or function names and then the test strings as the um, case that I'm testing. So if I'm successfully testing something, if I'm testing that it throws an error, I will use the, the string that gets passed to the test call to capture that type of information. And the way we make assertions in Dart with our tests is using expect, which is a function that takes in two different values and compares them. So we'll new up our awesome class that we added our GCD onto. Oops. And we'll pass in two numbers to our functions for x and y. Let's do 8 and 12. Now our second parameter is what we expect the output to be. The GCD of 8 and 12 is 4, so let's use 4 as our second argument. Now that we've written our test, we actually need to run it. I'll close out of vim and I'll use the dart test command. Now, I'll warn you, if it's the first time you've ran this since you've started a project, you're going to have to pre-compile the executable. This took almost two minutes for me the first time I ran it. Don't worry, I won't make you watch the timer tick up. It's still going, and done. Great, so you can see that it pre-compiled test, and now it's actually going to run our tests. This should be much faster. Great, we can see that all tests passed. Let's go ahead and run this again just to prove that if we're not pre-compiling the executable, it's fairly quick. You can see that our test runner is already loading our test, and it should be done here in just a moment. Excellent. Once again, all tests pass. So as a reminder, in this video, we started a new Dart project, we added a test, and we used the Dart tool to run our test suite. If you're interested in learning about all the options available for writing tests in Dart, I highly recommend checking out the test package on pub.dev. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, and that's something you're interested in doing, I would love it if you subscribed. Thanks.